Please note, we would like to make it very clear, we are totally against the form of discipline described in the articles and accounts being used on minors and non-consenting adults. Headmaster only permitted to use a thin flexible cane. Six blows on the rump. Extraordinary records reveal how corporal punishment was mitted out in our schools. Youngsters were given smacks and slaps. Items discovered by head as he tidied school basement. Bad behavior including biting ears and repeated acts of violence. It may seem hard for youngsters of today to believe, but just 30 years ago badly behaved schoolchildren as little as six could expect, six blows on the rump. Scribbled notes from a headmaster reveal how one unruly pupil guilty of bullying, vandalism and general acts of thuggery was disciplined in this manner. The punishments dealt out in the 1970s and 80s were detailed in a book entitled Record of Corporal Punishment, found by headmaster Mike Wood as he looked for artifacts to help with his primary school's centenary celebrations. The fascinating previously unseen records of Greenfield Primary in Oldham, Greater Manchester, illustrate how corporal punishment was dished out to naughty pupils in Britain's schools. Other youngsters were given smacks and slaps for a range of misdemeanors including biting, an attack on a girl's neck, continual disruptive behavior, and repeated acts of vandalism and indiscipline. Learning the hard way, the record of corporal punishment from Greenfield Primary School in the late 1970s records how six blows on the rump and two smacks on the bottom were dished out as punishments to naughty children. The book was accompanied by a list of rules set down by council officials which said that corporal punishment could only be inflicted for very grave offences until other methods have been tried and failed. The rule stated it could only be used as a method of disciplining children by the headmaster or teachers with at least three years' experience using a thin flexible cane supplied by the education authority. All details of canings and actual number of slaps or smacks had to be recorded in the book and any girls deemed to have been naughty would have to be caned by women teachers with relevant teaching experience. Other old school artifacts found by Mr. Wood as he tidied the school's basement included the original building plans, the first class register from 1912 and a ledger detailing the £3,959 it cost to build the school in the run-up to World War I. The hand-drawn plans even show a dividing wall across the school and playground which separated the boys from the girls to prevent them from mixing.